me now to debate the merits of this proposal on banning weapons and shotguns and pistols from the American Center for Law and Justice, Jay Sekulow, and former congressman, now a Fox News contributor, Dennis Kucinich. Gentlemen, welcome back to the program. Hi, Sean. Thank you. Hi, Sean. All right, Dennis, a particular welcome uh, to you. you we, we disagree on issues. Um, you're a pretty honest guy, though. Politician gives his word. I'm sure you believe that they should follow through on it. So Barack Obama said he's never going to go after our guns. That's what he said. He made that promise. Why would he do that now? Because that's what he's doing. Well, well he can't, you know, he can't get rid of, of everyone's guns because the Supreme Court case, D.C. versus Heller, established uh, the right to bear uh, arms as an individual right. So that's a given. But now, he's trying. Uh, the point is he's trying but, to. But the Constitution protects the right to bear arms. What right. this law is trying to do and it has to it recognize the Constitution because what does it do? It exempts about 2,250 different kinds of guns. But clearly, it's going after assault weapons. And I, I mean, I understand that. But I, I, there's one point I want to make before we start the debate, and that is this. Here's what I don't understand. This, the people are weaponizing themselves historically because they're, you know, historically, you go back to the beginning of the Constitution, it was to protect themselves against a tyrannical government. So now, with government getting ever more powerful, people weaponize themselves. But what's happening at the same time? More of our tax dollars is going to helping to make the government even more powerful. Somebody has to puzzle that out for me. Uh, beam me up, Scotty. Jay, I'm, I'm, he, Dennis Kucinich <laughs> yeah. is the first liberal that, is, that seems to actually have an understanding of the Second Amendment. Well, he, and, and, and the congressman, to his credit, said it correctly. The Supreme Court has recognized that the Second Amendment's right to bear arms is an individual right. But, Sean, when you look at legislation as a lawyer, and the congressman, of course, knows this in his years of service in the Congress, you have to say, what's the aim of the legislation here? And, and the problem with uh, Senator Feinstein's bill is not only is it broader than the 1994 provision, the assault weapons ban, but it's, they call it an assault weapons ban, but that's not what it is. It goes much further. It would be unconstitutional. If this legislation became law, the Supreme Court would strike it down as unconstitutional. But, Sean, there's another thing here that we have to be really, really concerned with, and that is the political move of what's happening. Do you remember right after the tragedies that took place uh, at Sandy Hook Elementary School? The president was asked and others were asked questions about how about having police officers on these elementary school campuses and the answer was well we don't need more guns in school. Well the answer though is really the exact opposite of that. What the NRA and others have said is the answer. Security personnel in elementary schools and other events and you have that by the way at sporting events you have armed security you have it on college campuses. It's it's focusing on the wrong issue. This FBI said that the assault weapon ban of 1994 did nothing to lower crime. And does anybody that's watching this broadcast now think that a sign posted that said, do not carry your weapon in this uh, area is going to prevent what happened yeah. in Sandy Hook? Or do we have no. to well, modify the HIPAA laws so that medical professionals, when they find out there's a problem, can take action? Or, I was glad to hear you actually have a fundamental understanding of the Second Amendment, more so than anybody else on your side so far that I've heard. Look, I'm willing to have an honest discussion. I've been a marksman since I'm 11, 12 years old. So I understand more than anything else gun safety. Um, my guns are locked up. You can't get to them. We should have responsible gun ownership in this country. But if we're going to talk about guns, don't we really, and we want to stop Sandy Hooks, don't we have to deal with mental health? Don't we have to oh, deal yeah. with parenting, right. uh, values? These this, guns don't fire themselves, Congressman. You know, thank you. I mean, I, I, if, I had, you know, if I was in Congress, this assault weapons ban is something I'd give careful consideration to. But I want to say something, Sean. What you just said, fundamentally right. This is a broad issue that touches all of American society. We, we have, a, unfortunately, a violent society. Uh, guns make it very easy for people to act out on their uh, aggression. But the truth is that the mental health problems in our society have not received enough attention. You do when there's vi violence, right. it gets the attention. But we weren't able to get mental health parity and a lot of health care legislation. Uh, you know, I, I know individual family uh, members who have struggled with problems. You can't even not lock, you can't to get lock the up mentally ill people. But, you you know, can't do it. Well, but Sean, well here's we, the we issue. need a society the that cares era. for people. All right, Jay, doesn't last throw word. them away. 
Yeah, real the, quick. the We're Clinton out of time. era HIPAA laws, the HIPAA laws, the privacy laws are part of the problem here. And the president thinks by the wave of a hand he can undo those, and he can't. This the problem here is you need a fundamental review of the mental health laws so you can prevent Sandy Hook, so that medical professionals are not afraid to notify authorities. And I would hope if and the congressman said he understands that, and that's good news. I, in that sense, I wish Dennis uh, Kucinich was still back in Congress if you vote that way, right. uh, because I don't know if that will be changed in Congress. But Sean, at the end of the day, if that is not addressed. All of this is meaningless. That That's has to be point. addressed. Right. Mental health professionals great have comments. to be able to notify yeah, authorities privacy when issues a that you have to be careful of. But, but at the medical but at the same privacy. time, at the same time, we have to recognize, as you right. pointed out, Sean, this is a broad issue. Very how broad. do we make how do we make this a less violent society? That ought to be the discussion. So, it's not only you know this isn't only about guns. You can you can pass all the gun legislation you want. You're still going to have some right. underlying issues of violence in the society. Congressman, welcome to uh, the Thanks, network. John. Jay, always good Thank to see you.